when you guys have an opportunity, you've had a couple practices now in short order, which is rare <laughs> once the season gets going. What are some of the things that you guys were trying to drill down on and work on? Uh, I think just, you know, finding ways to get better, um, offensively and defensively, uh, you know, making things more simple uh, rather than complicate them and, you know, just talk over things that, you know, we see as players and coaches that didn't come together, see how we can, you know, help benefit off each other and then learn and keep going the next game and getting better. When you were saying simplify, was that more on the offensive end or the defensive end? Uh, both. I mean, just everybody just not overthinking it. I mean, just buying in, locking in, you know, just whether you got to take another step higher or, you know, communicate a little more. I mean, as small little details add up. So I think just, you know, building all those habits and making us, you know, normal. When you guys have watched the film defensively so far, has there any been, been any areas that have stood out to you of where you guys can improve collectively? Uh, I mean, I, you always want to improve, you know, every aspect. I think just communication-wise, whether somebody's cutting or, you know, we're helping, you know, rotate to somebody else or even, you know, it's a mismatch and we got to, you know, help out and double team or something, getting the ball out of somebody's hand. So I think just little, little stuff like that, you know, being a collective group and coming together. Obviously, everybody has to go through injury, but does that make building chemistry a little bit more difficult when you have so many rotating pieces? Uh, yeah, but I mean, I mean, that's the good part of, you know, being the team. Uh, you know, next guy is always being ready to step up. Um, so I think, you know, injuries are part of the game, you know, wish they don't happen. But, you know, just when they do happen, just who's going to take that next jump. And, you know, we got to continue to carry the momentum. How have you gotten more comfortable now your second year in Brooklyn, not just with the team, but kind of being at home in the city and I guess kind of, you know, planning your roots here? Uh, just being myself. I mean, uh, you know, never taking it grant for granted. Just being able to be in a situation I am, learning every day, playing basketball, getting better each and every day, and being around a great group of guys, so. You guys have had a ridiculously tough schedule so far. I mean, I think you've only played four losing teams. Uh, I mean, you beat them all, but I mean, now you've got another team that's 500 or above with Atlanta. Um, when you try to make that next step against, you know, the more competitive teams, right? What are the, I guess, one or two things that have to get solidified for you to be able to close out and take that step against those kind of teams? I think just us staying together as a unit. Uh, you know, the game has highs and lows. Uh, you know, not having too many lows in the game, too many mistakes, and I think just converting on, you know, mishaps that the other team does and using it to our advantage.